Hello everybody and welcome to another journal with me video. In today's video I am again challenging myself to use supplies that are intimidating or maybe something that I might not naturally gravitate to and this particular challenge or theme is the mushroom craze. I don't get it. It's not something I gravitate towards. I think I have Oh, excuse me, I had a hiccup. I think I have actually mentioned this several times before that I just do not understand the mushroom uh, craze that it has been taking over everything lately, but nonetheless, I have some mushroom items and I am challenging myself to use these things just because um, I'm sick of seeing them. <laughs> I want to use them up and I wanted the opportunity to challenge myself to use supplies that I might naturally not gravitate towards. So I have cut those mushroom images out. I've got these stickers. I've grabbed some scrap papers. I've got those wooden stamps from London Gifties and I'm going to get to town starting to layer things. So I'm looking in my previous pages to kind of see what my pages look like before so I kind of know like where I want to start putting these little clusters. I don't like having things in the same spot constantly so I like to make sure that I move things around. So I'm just, Terry, I just tore that piece of craft paper from some old packaging and then I'm just laying some of these stamps down using a brown color so that it's not as in your face but it's a layered option behind and I ended up covering up one of them so I had to redo it but um, I l actually like the way this turned out like I said mushrooms aren't really my thing I'm not um, I'm not like crazy about them I don't hate them but I definitely seem to struggle with them so uh, I don't use the supplies that I have frequently so um, it was fun to kind of challenge myself and I thought it was appropriate because it is springtime and I am noticing some mushrooms pop up in our yard and in our gardens. So it did feel appropriate. This is something that um, we are experiencing in real life and so I figured why not. Uh, so this is my sneaky way of basically using an entire sticker sheet <laughs> of stickers in one go. I lay a bunch down and then I actually bring in some papers so that I could pre-decorate some letter writing paper for some pen pal writing that I need to do. Uh, I knew I couldn't use all of these stickers on one thing, but after that little cluster on the bottom, I figured why waste it? Let's just go ahead and use all of these stickers. So. After I put down some of this really adorable thin washi tape with these little teeny tiny mushrooms, I actually do really like the look of that. Um, I'm going to bring that paper in and it's just a pack of Tomoe River paper. I don't even remember where I got it or what brand it is anymore, but I'm just going to put them down on the paper so that when I need to write a letter next, I've already got some kind of decorated paper and I don't even have to think about it. So it worked out in the end. I have um, used up an entire sheet of stickers and decorated two different things with them. So I could have fussy cut all of those smaller little tiny images out, but I just could not even be bothered. So I just threw it away. Um, and then I'm going to start working on another little cluster. So my question for you is, is there something that is pretty popular in the stationary world that is challenging for you? Like you you really struggle using. I remember when I was still a scrapbooker, I um, really struggled with the gold foil thing. So things started getting gold foiled in scrapbooking and I just like hated it. I could not stand gold foiled anything. For me, for some reason, it just looked really tacky and I just could not get on with it. And then after like a year or two of it completely consuming the industry, I did eventually get on board and fall in love with it and used it all the time. And I was kind of thinking that maybe the mushroom thing was happening again, like the mushroom thing kind of took over the stationary industry um, and I really just never liked it and um, still a little bit struggle with it 
But I'm wondering um, if I'm the only one who kind of struggled with that. Like, I just cannot be the only one who struggles with stationary popularity. I don't know. Things that are popular. Like, I just can't be the only one. I did struggle with it before. I struggle with it now, like, all the time. There are just certain things that I just cannot get along with. I just can't. I don't know. I can't be the only one. So what do you struggle with? What is something that is really popular out right now that you just cannot get on board with? I would really, really love to know uh, what that might be for you. So leave it down below. Let's like compare notes. <laughs> um, maybe you do love mushrooms and you don't like fountain pens or wooden stamps or um, typewriters. Like I, I have to know like what, what does everybody else struggle with? So that is going to be it for me. I, um, again, it's a super quick video, but I just wanted to kind of show you these quick little videos of me decorating my journal pages. They're, I'm playing anyway, so I just hit record and edit it to make it super short so you guys can squeeze in a video here and there. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye!